How's it going everyone? So today I'm going to talk about how to stop eating sugar. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. I do appreciate the support. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you're interested in online personal training for me, simply comment below in the comment section. We'll get back to you guys with more details. One of the first steps in overcoming a sugar addiction is to start tracking your diet every day. I don't recommend that you completely stop eating it, uh, but instead slowly over time limit the amount you are eating until you're eventually not eating any, maybe once a month or once every two weeks, but certainly not every single day. That is very unhealthy. The biggest thing that you have is to make it a lifestyle change and not just something that you're trying to stop for a few months. If you honestly make it a lifestyle change, then you will succeed because it will be a permanent fix as opposed to just a month or two month thing. The next step is to try and make a list of reasons why quitting uh, sugar is good. I can tell you two reasons right off the bat. The first reason is that your health will substantially improve. You will also drop a lot of weight Generally, people who eat a lot of sugar are very overweight. By eliminating all these foods, you will notice your weight will drop. Again, this is if you make it a lifestyle change and you start eating a healthier diet at home and start cooking more meals. Another reason is how much money you will save from a meal. I know in Canada, getting something at McDonald's or Tim Hortons or Wendy's for one person costs roughly $11. That includes a Frosty fries and Coke. From Tim Hortons, that includes donuts, Timbits, double coffee, double double coffee, and a bagel. Now, $11 may not seem like much, but if you eat a lot of sugar every day in a month, that's $330, and in a year, that's a whopping $4,000. Woo! You can buy a small car with that money, you guys, or put a down payment on a townhouse. Maybe not quite a down payment, but pretty close. By thinking of all the bad reasons with sugar, you will soon start to stop eating it. Another thing you have to consider is why you eat so much sugar in the first place. Um, I know when I went through a rough spell in my life, I ate a lot of takeout because it made me happy. It's as simple as that. That's a reason why a lot of people eat it because something is bothering them in their life. So they look for food to cope because it tastes amazing. The best thing you can do if this is happening to you is find a hobby or passion that you will focus on more and just dive into that. For me, that's working out and working on my YouTube channel. You guys will find something too that will distract you from eating out. End of video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please like the video and share it. Thanks again.